welcome back to our channel here in ipas processing so in the last video that we had we talked about the november 2023 updates regarding your NCLEX, your visa screen and your license endorsement so today we do have another topic and we want to talk about the difference between the PNLE and the NCLEX. So for those of you who were not able to actually see our video in the last update that we had, you can check our previous after you have watched these differences so with regard to our topic today. So recently, the news about the Philippine Nurse Licensure Examination result was already released coming from the PRC. So for those of you who are not Filipinos, for those of you who are foreigners and our subscribers here in IPAS Processing, here in the Philippines, we have what we call the PNLE or the Philippine Nurse Licensure Examination. This is our board examination after that we are done with our four-year Bachelor of Science in Nursing. So what we do here in the Philippines is that we should be able to study the four years of nursing, the bachelor's degree, it's either in the college or in the university. And after we are done with our four-year degree course in nursing, then we're going to register and apply for our licensure examination. So for those of you who recently passed their PNLE, the 25,761 Filipino nurses who successfully made it on their examination. Congratulations to all of you. Truly, you deserve to pass your examination because I know personally that you have exerted so much efforts to make it happen. And now you're watching this video because you are going to move forward on your next steps and you're going to achieve your international license another license is a step up of your career right so that's why you are watching this video because you want to get information what is actually the difference with the PNLE and the NCLEX so this video will provide you that information that you are seeking for now on your PNLE this is composed of five nursing practice you have NP1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on your NP1 you have community health nursing the NP2 is care for the healthy at risk mother and child the NP3 is care of clients with official logic and psychological alterations. That's part one. The NP4 is the same. That's part B. And the NP5 is the same, but it's, that's the part C. Now, on your NCLEX, the distribution of your content will be composed of the four client needs, in which I'm going to read to you. This is composed of safe and effective care environment, which also there is a subcategory for that. There is management of care and safe and infection control. Another client need is the health and promotion maintenance. Another one is the psychosocial integrity. And the last one is the physiological integrity. So for the physiological integrity, there are subcategories for this. So this is composed of the basic care and comfort, pharmacological and parenteral therapies, reduction of risk potential, physiological adaptation. So these are four client needs has a certain percentages that will be composed of the questions that you are going to encounter on your actual examination. So I've mentioned earlier that each of your NP for your PNLE is composed of 100 items, right? Were you tired of answering your questions in your PNLE? Comment down below if you felt tired on answering your questions because that was a lot. That was 500 items on your actual examination. Now, on your NCLEX, you will not be so much tired. Maybe, maybe, I will just presume because you are going to sit for your examination and you're just going to answer at least 85 items for the minimum number. And then for the maximum, that will be 150 items. Now, on the minimum number, which is the 85, 52 items of this will come from the eight content areas that I have mentioned earlier. And 18 of these items will be three case studies. So there will be case studies on your NCLEX while on your PNLE, you haven't uh, experienced the case studies, right? So for these three case studies, that will be 18 items on your actual examination. And there will also be 15 non-operational items. So on your PNLE, there's no such thing as non-operational, right? But on your NCLEX, these non-operational items or unscored items 
will be used on the next question bank. So the NCSBN is doing this so that they have the information what would be the appropriate question that they have to put on their pool of question once they're going to revise their test plan because the test plan is being revised every three years so that not operational items will be useful after three years so for the length of your examination your PNLE will be two days right there will be morning and afternoon so it will be two days of your examination while on your NCLEX it will just be five hours also in your PNLE is usually being administered on Saturdays and Sundays right so on the Sunday you're already going to go to the church because you're going to pray <laughs> right i got it right <laughs> i guess it's right <laughs> so on the sunday you're already going to church to pray for the success of your examination or you're going to thank already the lord because you made it on your examination in advance now on your NCLEX, it's usually on the weekdays okay or it can also be on the weekend so for the administration of your examination as to the schedule or the timing there are examiners is going to sit for the examination in the morning there's also at noon time and also there will be examiners who can sit for their examination in the afternoon so how we do the scheduling is that we're going to schedule it via the Pearson view so the examinee is allowed to schedule the examination on the preferred look preferred time and preferred testing center so for the Pearson view testing centers on your NCLEX here in the Philippines we do have two Pearson view testing centers there's in Armstrong building and there's also in Trident Tower both of these testing centers for the Pearson view will just be located in Makati there's none in Cebu there's also none in Davos so if you are going to sit for your examination you really have to fly to Manila if you're coming from the provinces because the examination will only be administered in Manila in Pearson view although there's a Pearson view in Cebu but they are not administered ministering the NCLEX. Now, outside of the Philippines, the NCLEX can be taken as well in Hong Kong, in Taiwan, in uh, Turkey, in USA, in the Europe, in Australia, in a lot of countries. So long as the Pearson view is administering the NCLEX, then we can schedule for your examination there. Now, the type of testing. On your PNLE, it was paper-based, right? And there's also a certain pencil that you have to bring. I remember last time during my PNLE that I think that was Mongol 1 or Mongol 2. <laughs> Can you remember? I cannot remember anymore what type of Mongol was that. Is it still the same up to now? Is it Mongol 1 or is it Mongol 2? Type in the comment section below in this video so that I'll be able to recall what was that. Is it Mongol 1 or Mongol 2? And did you break it? <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> you know, I didn't do that. So, on your examination for the PNLE, as what I've mentioned, it will be paper based. And on your NCLEX, it's a computer based testing. So, in your PNLE, you have the chance of going back to your questions or to your answers and review it whether you answered it correctly or incorrectly while on your NCLEX since it's computer based if you're going to click the next button that's already final now that the computer will check what is the appropriate question that should be given to you based on how you answered the previous question and then you will then see the next question so you cannot go back anymore you cannot do a certain flagging because you cannot review anymore the previous answers that you have provided to the computer it's also computer Computer adaptive testing while on your PNLE that's objective multiple items for your examination so when we say computer adaptive testing the difficulty of the examination will be depending on how you answer the previous questions so on the location of your examination on your NCLEX I've mentioned that it will just be via the Pearson view testing centers 
And then you can choose where do you want to sit and when do you want to sit for your examination so long as it's within the validity of your authorization to test. Now on your PNLE, there are a lot of designated universities and school all over the Philippines. There's a lot in NCR, in Cebu, in Davao, there's also in Iloilo, Corona Daligas, Pilucena, Pagadian. PRC has a lot of designated testing areas where you can sit for your Philippine Nursing Licensure Examination. Now, FYI, in your NCLEX as well, there's no one that you can be able to know that he is a top-notcher for the NCLEX. No, there will be no top-notcher, no top 20 on your NCLEX. But on your PNL leaders, right, there's top 10, there's top-notchers coming from certain uh, universities, right? So, there's none in the NCLEX, so what you will just be able to know on your Pearson View account is you will just see is either a pass or a failing result. There's also no how much percentage you were able to get on your NCLEX, but on your PNL, there's a certain percentage that you will be able to see after you are done with your PNLE. So on your PNLE, the passing score should be 75 and there should be no score below 60 on uh, respective NPs but on your NCLEX the, the standard for you the passing standard is that the nurse should be able to reach the minimum passing standard of an entry-level nurse in the USA so there's no specific like 75 80 or 85 items as to the passing score now the process of application with your PNLE is that it's already online as of now right you have to register for your information via the PRC Laris while on your NCLEX so we have to apply through a certain board of nursing if it's in the USA so there will be 50 boards of nursing in the USA each one we can apply to those so long as we are eligible to apply for that but if we are going to apply for NCLEX Australia as well there's a different process that we are going to apply on your behalf if you want to apply for NCLEX Canada there's also a different process for that but regardless of which country you're going to apply the same NCLEX that will be administered for these three countries so another topic that I would also like to mention is that the scoring model for your PNLE that's an objective multiple item of format so you have to be able to have a 75 passing score no score less than 60 for the NPs on the scoring model of your NCLEX there's a partial scoring for the partial understanding of the nurse so as what I've mentioned it will be 85 to 150 but there's a partial scoring for your partial understanding for your PNLE there's no case study on your NCLEX, there will be three case studies. And for the item formats, that will be for another discussion that I have to give you here so that you will have more information on that. For the traditional items, uh, there will traditional items that the nurses were able to experience prior to April 2021. And this time around, maybe you have heard about the next generation NCLEX. So for the next generation NCLEX that you are also going to experience because we're going to apply for your NCLEX later on. So you will have extended multiple response, drag and drop. You will also have the highlight matrix, grid, drop down, bautai trend. So this this might be a different kind of item formats that you will be able to experience because on your PNLE it's just all multiple items so those are the information that I want to provide to you with regard to the difference of the PNLE and the NCLEX so if you are interested of getting started and moving forward and stepping up on your international goals we and IPAS can provide you for the assistance on your NCLEX application. It may be for the USA, Australia, or Canada. We have the application assistance that we can assist you. You just email us at inquiry at ipassprocessing.com or you might also want to check our website at www at ipassprocessing.com. You can connect through our Facebook page that's IPAS Processing, our other social media accounts of Facebook, LinkedIn, and TikTok as well. You can also find us in TikTok. And um, if you want the assistance as well for the next generation NCLEX online review, 
we provide an affordable review program for you so that you can prepare well to pass your MCLEX. So, if you haven't subscribed in our channel here in IPAS Processing, I would encourage you to subscribe for our channel so that you'll be notified as well on the next videos that we will have. And don't forget to type your name in the comment section below if you're able to pass your PNLE. You can comment, I pass PNLE so that we can be able to shout out your name or, you don't know, maybe we will have a raffle for those who provided their comments in the comment section of our YouTube account. So, we look forward to having you again in our next videos. And thank you so much for being here in our community. And I look forward to having you again in our next videos. Thank you so much for your time. And till the next video. Bye for now. I pass processing, processing made easy.